for the Implanon, it's basically just like getting a vaccination. You'll just get an injection and the rod will sit underneath it. A lot of times we'll put numbing medicine over that area, either a, a local injection or even some cream to numb the area to make it less uncomfortable. The intrauterine device has to go in like a pap smear. You put a speculum in the vagina and then you open the cervix and measure the uterus and then slide it in. It hurts, it's crampy, but a lot of my patients, when they feel like it's the right method for them, I kind of encourage them, okay, get, get your game face on. Five minutes of cramping for five years or even 10 years of amazing birth control. And if you're doing the Mirena IUD, typically most patients will have very, very light or even no period at all. So it's a great method too for gals who have heavy or really painful periods or for those who have endometriosis too. Yes, so the Implanon, all you do is you make a little nick in the skin and just pull it out. And I encourage people to wait for their next period before trying to get pregnant. Or if they want to continue it at three years, then we take that one out and put a new one in, same day, same time. The IUD, if you want to get pregnant or you don't like it, you come into the clinic and we put a little speculum in and there's little strings and we just tug on the strings because they hang outside the cervix. If my fist was a uterus, they say hang out just outside the cervix and I can just pull on them and it comes right out. And it's usually not very crampy to have it removed. It just feels like a single cramp and then it's out. The rates of um, getting pregnant are very, very good after you've had an IUD in place. So some people worry, oh, if I do an IUD, will I then become infertile? This is really just a gentle plastic um, and it's very uh, safe and very easy to remove and it doesn't embed in the uterine wall like the old IUDs used to do.